Welcome to the new year at OTC. 2023 will be the answer to the trivia question, what year did OTC begin offering a bachelor's degree? Nearly two years ago, OTC received approval to offer a bachelor's degree in respiratory therapy in Waynesville and Springfield. The accrediting body for respiratory therapy programs declared that new programs must offer bachelor's degrees. And when the spring semester started, our very first bachelor's degree students began their historic pursuit. We're the first one community college in the entire state to offer this. And we, we've gone through such a, such a long process to get here. And you know, we're so excited to produce these graduates that are gonna be you know, probably leaders in the field of respiratory care in this area for, for years to come. One of the inaugural respiratory therapy students is in the military. Daniel Bowles is an army medic who has done two tours of duty in Afghanistan. He's in the Ozarks on a recruiting assignment. And when Daniel's done serving his country, he hopes to become a respiratory therapist. Uh, the goal is to, you know, retire with a plan. I have about five years left in the Army, so this is part of my exit plan. And once I finish my career here, I'll be doing my career there like as soon as I get out. Respiratory therapy is one of the dozens of OTC programs eligible for the Fast Track Workforce Incentive Grant. Fast Track pays the tuition and fees for non-traditional students in eligible programs. In the spring of 2022, OTC had 51 students using the financial aid tool. And over the summer, Governor Parson signed legislation that removed the loan component, and now it is a no strings attached grant. That change correlated to a significant increase in the number of students receiving Fast Track. Last fall, 111 students had their tuition and fees paid through Fast Track. More than half of OTC's Fast Track recipients are pursuing degrees in health sciences. Health information technology leads the way with 23 students students, followed by nursing and dental, has 10. Outside of health sciences, the top programs Fast Track recipients pursue are business and computer science. When the college opened the Robert W. Plaster Center for Advanced Manufacturing, we set aside 15,000 square feet as industry partner space. And the first industry partner is DT Engineering out of Lebanon. They took up residence in the PMC last fall and began making use of the open floor space. They aren't using it for training or research. DT Engineering is actually manufacturing equipment. One project involves printers that can make huge quantities of labels and stickers. Another project involves a machine that builds packaging for the pharmaceutical industry. We have this machine, a robot takes all these pills, a certain order, a certain recipe for customers, puts them in a blister pack, and then the customers that's what they take each day. We build, we bring everything in here, build it, ship it out. Uh, we also have an office, so we have some engineers and we got a lot of different things going on here. DT Engineering even hired one of our students. Ben Funderburk is a student in automation and robotics. When DT Engineering was looking for an employee for their PMC operation, Ben was a perfect fit. He works and attends college all in the plaster manufacturing center. On January 24th, Great Southern Bank Arena at Missouri State University had a whole lot of OTC blue mixed in with the maroon for OTC night at MSU. Ozzy joined Boomer for some shenanigans and fans were treated to a 63 to 59 victory over the flames of the University of Illinois at Chicago. The college is closed on Monday, February 20th for President's Day. Students get Tuesday off too as employees gather for our fourth annual innovation celebration from 2 to 5 p.m. at the White River Conference Center. We'll leave you with photos from Eagle Days and the start of the 2023 spring semester. Enjoy the photos and until next time, I'll see you around the college.